I'd like to share 15 incredible benefits of exercise that goes way beyond just weight loss. Exercise is an epigenetic uh, stimulus. What does that mean? It means that it, it actually can affect your genes in a very positive way. Our bodies were definitely meant to exercise. We have over 10 million sweat glands. That is our air conditioner. We have that to adapt to heat while we're exercising and be able to cool down. We're able to sweat at least a liter every single hour if we need to, to maintain these temperatures. And exercise really activates a lot of different repair systems in our body. But your results with exercise depends on your rest and recovery. So if you're overtraining, you're not going to see uh, much benefit from these things I'm going to talk about. So let's dive right in. Number one, benefits to the autonomic nervous system. What is that? That's the nerve system that works on automatic. And there's two parts. Well, there's three parts. I'm going to talk about two. You have the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. And certain body parts are more heavy in one system than the other. Like your digestive system is heavy on the parasympathetic side which is rest and digest. Whereas the inside of the adrenal, the adrenal medulla gland is a hundred percent sympathetic, but the heart is a nice 50, 50 split of both sympathetic and parasympathetic. And so there's a test that I used to do in my clinic called the heart rate variability test, which measures the balance of the sympathetic and parasympathetic. And the reason I'm talking about that is that relates to the next few benefits. Number two, it decreases the risk of heart attacks. And this relates to the test I just talked about. See, normally um, the heartbeat has this rhythm, lubbed up, lubbed up, lubbed up. And you would think that the timing or the distance between the heartbeat should be all the same when you're at rest. But in a healthy body, it should be varied, okay? Let me explain what I mean. Let's say, for example, your heart rate is 60, okay? That's 60 beats per minute. And so each beat would be a second, right? So heart rate variability is measuring this distance between the heartbeat. It's not all the same. And the more varied it is, the more flexible your heart is, the more elastic your heart tissue is and the, and the vascular part of that. When the heart gets older or inflamed, it becomes rigid. And that's when you see the exact distance between the heartbeat. And that's not very healthy. And so when you stress the body, there's no room for elasticity. So exercise strengthens the elasticity of the heart. It strengthens the variability between the heartbeats, and it decreases the risk for heart attacks. It also decreases the risk for getting high blood pressure because your vascular system is more elastic. In fact, just exercise being a variability alone can decrease the risk of getting high blood pressure by 35 to 50%. Number four, it can decrease the risk of getting a stroke. Number five, it can decrease the risk of getting certain types of cancer, lung cancer, bowel cancer by 16%, uterine cancer by 16%. It can even decrease breast cancer by 11% because of how exercise stimulates the antioxidant network to protect all this free radical damage that's occurring. So you're actually building up networks of antioxidants when you're exercising to keep the damage to your mitochondria at a minimum. And just to explain, and I'll just jump to the last benefit, which is increasing your energy. You actually increase the number of mitochondria when you exercise. So you end up with more mitochondria and bigger mitochondria, which gives you more capacity for energy. So exercise increases your energy. All right, number six, decrease risk for diabetes. Why? Because in the muscle tissue, the genetic effect of exercise actually makes insulin more sensitive. So if you have insulin resistance, which is a condition responsible for so many health conditions, a fatty liver, weight gain, high blood pressure, diabetes, et cetera, using exercise to improve insulin sensitivity is a huge benefit. This is why it can help your blood sugars. So exercising will burn off this extra sugar that you have and just in, in lower insulin. All right, number seven, um, exercise decreases the risk for anxiety and depression because you're improving all sorts of neurotransmitters, including dopamine. You increase endorphins as well, and you actually help lower cortisol. So this is why it can greatly reduce your stress 
And I think you should exercise for that alone, that benefit, which is actually number nine. So as you're exercising, you're taking your mind off all your worries, which is extremely therapeutic. All right, number eight, it can decrease your risk for dementia and improves your memory because part of the brain that atrophies um, when you get dementia is called the hippocampus. So exercise slows down the shrinkage of that part of the brain that's responsible for dementia. And that's, that's huge. So exercise improves your cognitive function. It can even increase uh, something called brain-derived neurotrophic factor and help you grow new nerves. All right, number nine, I already mentioned that. It lowers stress, decreases cortisol, which will help you sleep better. I notice that the more I keep exercise consistent, the better I sleep. Number 10, exercise improves your willpower. People that cannot stay consistent with exercise, people that cannot do intermittent fasting for a period of time or keep their diet clean for a period of time um, usually have a low willpower. So you can use these things to strengthen it. All right, number 11, exercise helps reduce inflammation as long as you recover from the exercise. If you're overtraining and your muscles are sore and you keep, you keep exercising and you keep having inflammation, then it's not gonna work. You must rest and recover after the exercise. Number 12, exercise can help increase longevity because of all the things I just talked about, decreasing risk for heart attacks, strokes, cancer, et cetera. Number 13, exercise improves fertility, which is a very cool thing. Number 14, exercise helps rid low back pain. It did for me. Recently, I'm doing the sled exercise. I'm pulling the sled, walking backwards, and I have absolutely no more back pain. It will also greatly decrease joint pain. And number 15, which I already mentioned, exercise will greatly improve your energy. On that note, I think it's time for you to start your exercise routine. If you haven't seen this video on exercise, I think this would be the next best one. Check it out.